here at CES 2011 and Byton just unveiled their very first electric car. Just like I uh, had a few previews so you can check it out. But right now, uh, we just got a, you know, a first sneak peek of what uh, uh, their car is going to look like. It's uh, going to have a 300 mile range. Uh, 250 mile will be able to be recharged within 30 minutes. They're going to have a lot of cool stuff like the gestures and it's going to kind of adjust to your mood. It's going to adjust to your life. It's going to have its own platform. Um, uh, there's one right now behind me, so I'll let you definitely check it out. But um, so yeah, it's it, it, it's it's pretty exciting. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people are covering it right now. When there will be less people, I will guys kind of get get in there a little bit closer. So let me let me come up to it right now without being arrested, I guess. So uh, here it is. It's a, there's, there's a pink one. Um, it's it's a, kind of a SUV, a little crossover. Uh, looks uh, like a little bit uh, smaller Faraday future, if you will, right? So um, now they also told us that it's going to have uh, uh, autonomous drive, uh, drive, autonomous driving features level three, and I think it's going to be level four by 2020. It's going to start at only forty-five thousand dollars in the U.S., and it's going to be available at the end of 2019. So really, probably 2020. Um, so there are three cars on stage right now. They just finished their. Um, oh, here's Patrick. Look at it, Patrick hey, from uh, Tesla trip right here as always. Uh, what do you think, man? Forty-five thousand dollars. And only a couple of years, so it's here. They're, 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 saying, they're saying the end of 2019. Yeah. Yeah. They can pull it well, off. Well, they're Sounds saying cool. it, right? As yeah. you know. But uh, what do you think about the look of the car? I think it looks good. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. Version, but I'm, I'm gonna I'll, I'll try to make my way to the to the other versions that were on stage so um, all right well we, we'll connect with Patrick a little bit later um, so right now uh, we are oh yeah so also Amazon Alexa uh, that's what's gonna be integrated and they gave us a little bit of a demo uh, and a video and I will show it to you guys later I mean I already taped the whole thing uh, obviously and I'll post it uh, in my uh, future live and pre taped videos once I'm back from CES but for now uh, I just kind of wanted to kind of get my very first impression of what it's like really here. Uh, the room was pretty much full of media and full of different people. Um, I see Rob Carr in the chat room, says it's a really cool electric vehicle. Uh, so yeah, it's, I mean, it, it, we'll see, you know, obviously it's exciting that this company is uh, 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 finally here. They finally, I believe they took them about three years to get this car uh, uh, going. So um, David in the chat room is asking, what kind of car is this? Well. Uh, just like the title of the video says, let me switch uh, hands here. Um, uh, just like the video says, uh, it is Byton, uh, B-Y-T-O, and that's kind of a comment from uh, uh, Bites on Wheels is what it's kind of a comment from. So as you can see, a lot of media taking pictures. This is what everything looks like behind me. Um, Let's see. Um, yeah. So it's. Uh, by the way, I will and I will show it to you probably on Tuesday when I have a, a hopefully demo on a test drive. But it has a humongous screen that goes basically instead of a dashboard, there is just a screen there, which is great. It's going to read your gestures. It's going to read your face when you get into the car. Uh, people will be able to know what uh, uh, who you are and adjust the car to your uh, to your image really. So let me just kind of walk around and, and, and get you guys an, an impression of what it looks like on the back here. So here you go. Maybe I can switch the, um, the camera and, and walk around and show it to you guys. So here you go. I hope you can still hear my voice. Let me know in the chat room if you can hear my voice. I'm going to go walk around and look inside for you guys. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, let me know if you can uh, you can hear me as well, okay? A lot of people are taking pictures, so I don't want to get on their way. Yes, you can hear me. Okay, great. So this is a pink version. Actually, I think this is the one that I'll be getting. I'm just trying to get around a lot of photographers. Sorry, Sorry for all the shaky camera work here. So this is what it looks like uh, pretty much. And by the way, you know, this place is pretty, pretty big. Just wanted to show that to you. I'm gonna go a little bit on the back, show you what it looks like um, on the back. A lot of people are kind of trying to get a shot of it as well. Uh, let me know in the chat room what you guys think about your first impression. Um, 
yes, uh, this is definitely going to be a Tesla competitor. But you know, again, we'll we'll see what you, you know. They oh, they did mention that they are going to have. Uh, they they already started the. Uh, they already started building their own factory uh, in uh, in China, and that's where their headquarters are. The U.S. headquarters is literally three miles away from where I live, which is in Santa Clara, California. And again, don't worry, guys. If you if you're not seeing all of the shots, I will have a test drive that I'm probably going to go on tomorrow. And uh, let me just show you the um, the logo really quick. I'm literally behind the car right now. Windows are too small. Yeah, but you know what? I think it's kind of a. Uh, it's been a. It's been almost a general rule lately for this uh, crossover SUVs. I think that's what it is. Uh, yeah, kind of reminds me of FF 91s that use Tesla channel. I totally agree with you. That's what I guess I mentioned in the beginning. Uh, not bad, not sexy, says Dom Team. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think SUVs are hard to be sexy. Let me just uh, make my way around here and see if I can uh, show you other other um, colors that they have here on stage. It's just there's so many people right now because they just finished their uh, unveiling event, again, which I'll show you guys a little bit later. Um, and and uh, here's one of their um, executives here. He was one of the ones doing presentations. Uh, and I think there's a founder somewhere around here. But what I really want to do is actually get you guys uh, sort of a good look inside, as you can see the the wheel has a touch screen, which I think is pretty cool. And as you can see that screen, and if you can see it well or not, is dashboard is literally the entire screen. So uh, let's see. Just trying to walk my way around it. Oh, this is one of the other executives right here. Uh, no, you know, they have not talked about the charging infrastructures, actually. Um, so, I guess this is a security guy making sure we don't really... Um, hold on a second. Let me see if I can get a VIN number from here. Cool. Okay, people are trying to get in and that's why the... Um, size of the battery they have not mentioned, but they did, you know, say that it's going to have a 300 mile range. Um, there's a pack of this car. This car is great. As you can see, um, uh, for, do you for for an an no, go around the front. Okay. Oh, wow. They, I have to go around. But um, all right. What other questions? Uh, how much range? Just like I said, 300 miles. Um, don't know about the um, battery size. Sorry, everybody wants to talk to the founder. Oh, here. Here's one of the founders right now on the screen. Uh, he also uh, basically. Uh, brought this whole thing home uh, as far as the, uh, doing the uh, ending of the, uh, he basically ended the, uh, um, he was the last guy to talk at the, at the uh, unveiling event. Uh, just like I said, I will, um, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm walking my way. So this is the center stage and this is this car, but I really like the white one. So I'm going to try to go and get you guys closer to the white one because there's everybody wants to talk to this executive guys right now. All right, so this is a little bit easier to walk here. I'm gonna switch the camera to me right now because it really doesn't matter. Okay, so here's the white one right here. I really like this one much better, I have to say. This is my favorite one. They put it in a corner somehow, but I really liked it all throughout the, all throughout the uh, presentation. I was kind of looking at it and I really, really liked it. Yeah, um, no, it's a four-seater, it's not a... Uh, but yes, there are there are two doors only, so it's kind of a three. Let me switch the camera again. Um, let's see. Uh, Here's the white one. I really like. I really like the white one. I don't know what he's doing there. Um, no, he did not pass out. He's just trying to fix something, I guess there. Uh, but I'm assuming they're gonna start taking these cars out at some point, but I really, really like it. Oh, look. Speaking perfect Chinese, I guess. Wow. All right, let me know, guys, what you think of this white one. I really, really like I really like this one. Let me just uh, show you some of the, um, some of the um, cool features. As you can see, this is a camera right here. Um, let me try to get in here and see. Yeah. 
I love the new car smell. <laughs> smells really nice. All right, here's the back of the car. Um, there's some blue lighting here, but it is. Um, wheels are interesting, actually. Here's a different uh, look at it. And, uh, uh, we're getting a kind of a quick look over the inside here. I don't know if they tried to get the screen going, but as you can see, there's a humongous screen right instead of the dashboard. No, they, he's turning it out. Yeah, fingerprint. That's a no door handles. Let me see. This is what it looks like inside. There's a screen on the back, as you can see, almost like iPads. As you can see, also, there's a camera, so you can read the faces of the passenger as well, because everyone's going to have their own entertainment experience here. Just trying to go around and see as much of it as possible for you guys. So, um, inside, the seats go through one another. That's the first time it's actually been. All right, so this is the back of this. Sorry. Of oh, this concept car. I'm gonna go a little bit to the side, so um, can I rush around? Where is the charge port? That's a good question. Where is the charge port? I think I see it. Oh, here, I found it, guys. Here's a charge port. I don't know if we can open it or not. Oh, this is a much better view of this car as you can see. Okay, we're being we're being asked not to touch anything. They're a little bit overprotective of the car, but uh, nevertheless, there's so many big people taking pictures of this. Obviously, most of these people who you see here are media. Um, and by the way, if you want to see some of the pictures from the unveiling, it's on my Twitter account and on my Instagram account. But just like I said, you guys are going to get all of this uh, when I uh, post the um, actual. A video that I had um, that I was taking all throughout the actual unveiling. There will also be a press conference. Um, uh, what is front? It doesn't have a front. Uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it looks like it's pretty big. Like I'm showing it to you right now. Um, We're just gonna need of, everyone to stay back in the car. Sorry. A lot of people are actually trying to. Um, uh, um, I lost the train of thought. Yes, the front. The design. Oh yeah, it says it looks more than like forty-five thousand dollars. Well, I'm assuming it's starting with forty-five thousand dollars, but actually it will be. Um, it will be. Um, Stay back. Uh, Sorry, thank you. Okay, I was. I'm being told that I'm. Uh, I'm being told that I'm. Uh, should get too close to it right now. And as you can see, there's a lot of interviews with the executives behind me. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm, I, I love. I love this white car. I really do. Can you guys still hear me? I mean, it's super loud. I can barely hear myself, but I just wanted to make sure that uh, you can hear me. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Thank you for live video. You're welcome, of course. This is something I was excited for a while, guys, because I think this is one of the biggest car unveilings uh, of this conference, because, you know, Fisker will unveil their car as well, but there will be no actual unveiling. It will actually be uh, uh, just a presentation at their booth, which I will bring it to you guys. Uh, when the, once CES actually opens on Tuesday, um, yeah, well, you know what? There's a lot of YouTubers here, and a lot of media, and there's a lot of broadcast media. Um, so, um, uh, somebody says the front looks like a Honda Civic. Um, yeah, I mean, a little bit, I guess. I, I, you know, at night the lights will light up, and it will look way cooler than a Honda Civic. But um, yeah, all right. You guys want me to walk around to another? Um, let me go back to the front because now I think there will be less people wanted to look at the gray one. Let me know if you guys like the gray one or if you're still like the uh, pink or the or the white one. A lot of people are taking pictures with the um, with some of the uh, executives. Um, that's one of the founders and I think the main investor right there in the middle, the guy in glasses. Um, hot says Solly, well I think so. Um, white one looks pretty yeah. cool. I agree with Arvid in the chat yeah. as well. A lot of people just trying to get through. Uh, can I get a close-up of the headlights? Let me try to do it right now, actually. Here it is. Can you see it? Hope you guys can see it well. This is the front logo. These are the uh, fog lights right here. And these are the actual headlines. You can see a lot of people are just taking pictures with the founder. This is the founder right here. 
there you go. All right, what do you think? What do you think about the gray color, guys? Let me just go back a little bit so you can get a better idea. Give it to me for free, says. Um, Birch says, uh, okay, I just sorry. I, the chat chat disappears really quick on my screen. I love the logo. I do love the logo as well. Uh, uh, let's see, David likes the gray color. I think it's okay. Actually, I have to say, I'm looking at my screen. It doesn't look as good as uh, it does in person. But yeah, it is nice. Bring it on, says uh, QTF Shark, uh, one of the regulars in the chat room. Uh, man, man is going to be the exciting uh, exciting industry, says Greg. I absolutely agree. Uh, hi, Mitchell, how are you? White and black are bad, I agree. They do not have a black one here. They only have a pink one all the way over there, as you can see. I walked around it a little bit uh, earlier, so, um, but yeah. Let me switch it back to me. Um, yeah, but I have to say, I'm excited. Now, they didn't say anything, they didn't announce anything that was like, we didn't know, uh, but uh, everything that they were kind of promising, anything that they were advertising, they really did, they did it really kind of deliver. Uh, the presentation was pretty good, not as exciting as Tesla presentation. Uh, can you see the interior, my bro, it says Bacon. Uh, bro, uh, he did, uh, I just did the interior a second ago. I will do more of this interior and I'll show you more of it. When I actually have a, a test drive in these one of these cars, uh, I believe it's gonna be on Tuesday morning, so to tune in for that. Um, the more electric brands, the merrier, says David, I absolutely agree. Uh, Helmuth, how are you? Uh, charging speed, well, they said it's gonna charge in 30 minutes up to 250 mile uh, range out of 300 total. When is it coming out? It's coming out, uh, I believe, in 2020, early 2020 here in the United States. And it's gonna start with $45,000, which is actually pretty good if you ask me. Sorry guys, my hand is kind of getting tired. I'm gonna go back to, um, to the pink one right here. So, um, if you excuse me, I'm just gonna walk around a little bit. I'm trying not to fall off the stage, by the way. So, excuse me, guys. People obviously can see I'm doing the live uh, broadcast, so that's pretty good. Is just a concept, or is it going to be a uh, same design for production? I mean, this looks like they're uh, uh, alpha prototypes. So this is, uh, and again, they, these are these are the cars that are going to be doing test drives uh, on Tuesday, Wednesday. So um, it looks like this is going to be pretty close to what production is going to be. But as, as you know, whenever they promise something, uh, the production is never is going to be exactly as they as they advertise because we're still a couple of years away from it. Do a walk around. I just did walk around, but okay, let me do it again. Um, they are not leading us as close to the cars as actually I was earlier. So you guys are gonna have to watch this video in um, in uh, in the replay, which will be posted uh, as soon as I'm done here. It's really hard to walk around, guys. I have to kind of jump up and down. Um, okay, well let me let me jump uh, down the stairs without falling and breaking my face. Um, so all the media spots that were, were full just a few minutes ago. Here's the front of the car. Nice view. I'll wait for the replay. Yeah, uh, I'll and don't don't forget there will be not just a replay. I will have um, actual video that I taped and will tape also on Tuesday uh, with much better quality. So here's from another side. As you can see, the camera is built in right there. Let me go on stage without interfering with them. Um, Model 3 versus Python, someone's asking. Um, so, let's see. Well, um, I think it's two different cars, guys. I think, uh, you know, Python as a crossover UCV, I think, if anything, we should be comparing it to uh, Model Y when it comes out. Um, yeah, I, I like the pink too, guys, right? It's actually kind of cool. And I think what you're seeing right now on the, um, on the screen is very close to what it looks like in person. I'm just also looking at the screen. Where are the mirrors? That's actually a great uh, question, but I think here is the mirror, which is a camera right here. That's your rear side mirror. As you can see, there are mirrors right here. You know? uh, the windows are tinted, but I already did an inside look. Um, of course, here it is. These guys are obviously Russian media trying to hack this car already damn I can't believe this uh, Apple versus orange no this is not really Apple this is more like pinkish guys um, here are the wheels for this one I think they're kind of the same as the last one let's see or maybe they are not Russian what size are the rims? you know they look like 22s guys I have to say they really look like 22s pretty big uh, for this uh, for this type of a car 
All right, let's see. And by the way, guys, while you're watching this video, if you uh, if you if you're liking what you're seeing, uh, please give a thumbs up. Of course, that helps the video to do well. Um, how much does it cost, asked David? Uh, David, it will cost. I mean, they're saying that um, it will um, it will cost. It will start with forty five thousand dollars, which is not a bad price at all. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to not fall off the stage. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna try to not get into other people's shots. So forty-five thousand dollars is the starting price, and um, of course, I'm sure it's gonna go probably into seventies and eighties. Um, but uh, not bad, especially for a car that's gonna be coming out in a couple of years. If you guys missed it, I said that they are coming up with it in a couple of years, and they're already building their uh, factory already in China. Their headquarters is literally three miles away from where I live. I already mentioned that. So I'm hoping, you know, down the street, I will maybe see some prototypes uh, uh, driving down my street, hopefully. Uh, yeah, live feeds at these events are always lower quality, but not much. Uh, you know, I'm using their internet, guys, and their up speed here is pretty good. So this is, I think, as good as gonna get. If you want a better quality video, wait until I'm back. I will edit all the footage and I will definitely post it. Okay, there's still a lot of people here on stage, but I think most people finally got their fix. Um, there will be a press conference a little bit later. So I'm gonna actually maybe live stream from that press conference if you guys are interested. Um, let's see, uh, thank you for liking the video, guys. Um, what's the zero to 60? You know what, I, they didn't mention that, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think they mentioned it. Uh, so maybe I will, maybe it's something that people will ask during the press conference. I don't know if I really wanna bore you with a press conference. I'm, I'm, assu I'm assuming it's just gonna be a little bit boring. So two motors or one asking Alan. That I don't know either, actually. So let me walk around to this other one. And as you can see, there's some major uh, media outlets who are doing interviews. Um, and these are the guys who are who were doing the presentation. This guy did a lot of presentation, actually. And his 15-year-old son was on stage talking about it, which is, was pretty smart to say that, hey, this is the next generation of people, you know, our teenagers, really, who are going to be using cars like this. Uh, by the way, let me know how the quality is. I mean, not that I can help it. I'm using their Wi-Fi, so. Um, Everyone's trying to get an interview with him, except for me, because uh, I think they're just going to be giving us talking notes anyway, talking points. Uh, let's see. Um, let me go back to this car actually, because no one's no one's around them, and you can see it much clearer. I don't know if you guys really like the pink color, but uh, uh, don't know if it's a front or real wheel drive. To be honest with you, maybe I'll get the camera underneath the car and we'll see but um, yeah all right guys I am actually going to uh, uh, wrap up now I think this is everything that I know right now I told you you seen all three cars I'm gonna come back with a live feed again in the next oh, pretty much every day here from CES so many other things to uh, to notice so stay tuned if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe uh, just like I said I will be uh, uh, streaming uh, from this uh, from this CES and, and doing all kinds of other stuff like Mercedes-Benz user experience uh, Fisker and many many others so definitely stay tuned all right guys uh, until until probably uh, tomorrow uh, remember to stay charged